Hello, my name is James Caldwell. This is a brief explanation of two compositions for computer-generated music controlled by Wii Remote. The Wii Remote and Nunchuck are, of course, parts of a Nintendo game system, but I use them without the game system as a kind of musical instrument. They capture information about motion and gesture, including pointing up or down, rolling left or right, turning back or forth, and change in speed. The devices also have a variety of on-off buttons. Some are paired to suggest direction, like the plus and minus, one and two, and up, down, left, right buttons on the remote, and the joystick on the nunchuck. In these two pieces, part of my texturology series, I perform with the Wii Remote and nunchuck. Performance information is sent to the computer by a wireless connection and routed by a utility into a computer music environment that I have programmed to respond by making musical sounds. All of the sound is generated in the computer. The Wii Remote does not make any of the sound itself. The music is generated according to algorithms or sets of instructions that I have given the computer. Similar physical motions will always produce similar musical gestures, but the detail will be different each time. In composing these two pieces, I wanted to find ways to map physical gestures to musical sounds in some kind of intuitive way that makes kinetic and visual sense. Two different metaphors helped me map physical gesture to music. In Texturology 8B Hyperbell, the right hand controls attacks and articulations while the left hand controls the pitch. This is like a string instrument. A violinist uses the right hand to bow or pluck the strings, controlling durations, articulation, and speed, while using the fingers of the left hand to play higher or lower pitches. In Hyperbell, pressing the B button triggers a flurry of notes. The pitch of the remote, pointing up or down, controls speed. The roll, turning my wrist left or right, controls the articulation, from a more percussive attack to a more gentle articulation. The right hand can also make a gesture like ringing a handbell. Other right hand buttons are used to change the buzziness of the timbre and placement of sound in the stereo spectrum. The buttons on the nunchuck in the left hand determine which pitches are produced, while the orientation, pointing up or down and rolling left or right, determines the register, that is the general highness or lowness, and whether the notes are produced as a stream focused in one register or are sprayed across many octaves. Both hands have controls that affect the delay and reverberation, which are rhythmic and spatial effects. All of the sounds in the piece come from a single software synthesizer and some basic effects processors. Texturology 9, Facilia, generates MIDI notes that are sent to a software sampler in the same computer that plays an ensemble of sounds like flute, harp, gongs, Latin percussion, or ping pong balls. The controlling metaphor is the conductor of an ensemble who sets tempo and meter with the right hand, while the left hand indicates expression and cues players. Pressing the B button triggers a flurry of notes. The pitch of the remote, pointing up or down, selects the speed. Some right-hand buttons select the scale or pitch collection. 
the right hand also controls a reverb and distortion effect called flange. A ringing or plucking gesture will produce a bass sound. or a ping pong ball sample. And a certain kind of shaking sounds like the rattling of wooden marimba keys. The instrument sounds that play the flurries of notes are determined by the left hand. The joystick sets the balance between four instrumental sounds. A left hand cue triggers a short loop. When the loop is running, another cue can change its length. The speed, instrument, and register of the loop can all be controlled with various left hand and right hand configurations. The computer program consists of modules or patches, each with a specific function, connected together in a graphic display. I designed an interface for each piece to display some of the information from the Wii and current settings in the program. In these pieces, I have been influenced by the look of continuous field or all over pattern paintings, like those of Jackson Pollock or Mark Rothko. In fact, I borrowed the title of this series of pieces from a series of paintings by Jean Dubuffet. The music is shaped by changes in the streams or clouds of notes that are generated, a succession of textures, of layers of activity that are more dense or sparse, faster or slower, and cover a narrower or broader pitch space. Sometimes the music has a regular pulse or groove, and sometimes it is more irregular and flexible. I've designed the pieces to encourage myself to listen carefully and respond to the music during performance. While composing, I spent hours and hours improvising and listening in order to select and order a set of gestures into concert performances. The pieces that I have specified and named are only instances of the innumerable possibilities for playing with the algorithms and controllers. <laughs>